Now we come on to the special award. Sorry about that. The trophies don't look very impressive, I suppose. They've been with the club many, many years. Before we get on to the most improved riders, which are worked out from the results and the sitting committee and try and sort them out. I've got one special hard luck trophy that I've been asked to present. I understand the lad, although he should have been here, hasn't arrived. He broke his leg on the first corner of the first ever lap of his first ever race with the YMSA. I don't believe his race stands. And his name's Stephen Jackson, so could someone please collect it for him? For Stephen Jackson, please. We now come to the most improved riders of the year for each class. Does John want to come up with Martin as well again now we're down to the last few? Or has he left us? <laughs> I'll stop with the and the most improved expert for 1981, Richard Woods. The most improved senior. Jamie Brayshaw. Well done, Jamie. That's the Big John Trophy, which was presented by Maurice Arden, who was an old YMSA member years ago, and in fact had a lot to do with starting the YMSA trials side. Into A's, Mark Havenham, which is, believe it or not, the Hemsel Award. Is Mark not here? Yeah. Come on, Mark. In to be Michael Jackson. Not here. Most improved junior, Jeremy Wood, which is the Carpenter Award, which is one of the first awards that ever belonged to the YMSA. And the most improved cadet, Matthew Wiles. No name on it, just have to get the thing going for you, Matthew. We're down to the last few now, everybody, and the scrutineers get their heads together and decide what they think has been the best prepared motorcycle throughout the year. They keep clear of lads who have lots of new bikes and so on, and they've decided this year the best prepared bike goes to David Mitchell. <laughs> well done, David. And his dad. trophy was donated by Mr. Clayton and John last year and it's for consistency. The committee got their heads together and the lad who we thought has been more consistent and who tries harder against a lot of adversity through the years and has been with the YMSA a lot of years. So the cup for the best consistency for 1981 goes to Carl Fitted. two trophies, I will ask for the lads in each class in turn who haven't received the award to come up for a merit award. So we'll take each class in turn after we've finished the presentation. 
The next cup, although it isn't engraved yet, has been donated by the Mitchells and they want it to go to the, they consider one of the most hard-working officials of the YMSA and they'd like him to ha keep it for a year and then bring it back to us next year to go to another hard-working official. And this year, Faye would like it to go to Don Walker. The last main trophy of the evening is the Stott Award, which now goes to the Sportsman of the Year. Last year it went to Darren Feltham and the year before that to Ian Morton. This year it goes to a lad who, at Norwood, when Mark Feltham was off, hidden in the bushes between marshals, stopped his bike at the next marshal point to tell the marshals that there was a lad injured further up the track. So this year the Sportsman of the Year Award goes to Andrew Leach. a special presentation by Mr. Sandham, who is the landowner of the books, and for all the effort that Morris and Jill Feltham have put into the books over the year, Mr. Sandham would like to make a very special presentation to them. So would Jill and Morris come up, please? and Mr. Sandham and we've enjoyed working at the Butts. We've, as Mr. Sandham said, we've done a lot of work. We've had a lot of help from Mr. Sandham and uh, we've offered to do it again next year. I sincerely hope we have as much enjoyment doing it as we have last year and with the landowner's help, I'm sure we will have. Thank you very much, Mr. Sandham. Before we get on to the Merit Awards, we still haven't had our Norwood lady to see us. Can we find her? <laughs> Come on, Margaret. <laughs> Send her home. <laughs> Come here. Come on, Tony, you can get her up, surely. <laughs> Come on, Margaret. Margaret, could I first have any cadet who hasn't had any award at all tonight to come up to the front please?